There's a lot that we don't talk about, sometimes due to embarrassment, fear, insecurities, we neglect discussions about the most common parts of our lives, things we all deal with, sometimes every day. But on the Caffeinated Gypsy podcast, together, we'll break all of those taboos and talk open and honest about shared experiences, knowledgeable people relating things you felt but never put into words, parenting, sex, fitness, energy, anything to connect you to your authentic self unfiltered. Now, the caffeinated gypsy herself, a free spirit, world traveler with a passion for fitness and exploring topics that others might avoid. Welcome to the caffeinated gypsy podcast. I'm Stephanie Cotton, your host. Holy cow, we just finished Thanksgiving. I'm going to tell you, I don't even know how we got to this point. I keep looking back thinking like, holy shit, it's almost Christmas. Um, Bananas. (laughs) Uh, I hope everybody had a good holiday. I just finished hanging out with my sister for a couple days and it was awesome. Um, It you know, the holidays always are a weird time. I think energetically people are really high or they're really low. There's a lot of stress in the air. Um, you know, I was talking with somebody the other day about this and I was like, you know, I feel like people get like really on edge during the holidays. And I think it's because you have like this, multiple personality kind of a thing going on you've got like one second you're like really happy and then the next second we're like really low because there's all these like high highs and lows lows and there's all this build up and then there's all these like expectations and there's all this stress and I just the holidays are fucking bad shit crazy um but you know I I really enjoy the holidays um but I have a very different approach to the holidays than a lot of people. Um, I don't get really caught up in the hype of it all. I love it. I like, you know, I have three kids and I want them to definitely enjoy the holidays. And we do a lot of traditions and, you know, it's a really good time. But I also have made the holidays a time about like just my immediate family. And for us, that has really worked. Um, I think part of like the craziness of the holidays too is we we tend to put ourselves around people during the holidays that we don't generally interact with every day to day, right? So we're around like family that we're normally not around. We start going to like holiday parties and work parties and all these different events and we put ourselves around people that we probably wouldn't hang out with on a day-to-day basis and I think this is part of the reason why like people get really bogged down and they really start to like get really grumpy about the holidays and so I kind of wanted to just touch on that and you know especially talking about like negative people it's really important guys that you're keeping your people that you have around you positive And it's really important that they're vibrating at a level that's going to boost you up. And I'm a really firm believer that you don't surround yourself with shitty people. I don't care if those people are your family. I don't care if it was your best friend for 20 years. A shitty person is a shitty person. And if you're interacting with people and you're leaving and you're like, man, I feel like shit now. It's time to go. And I know that this goes against a lot of what our society says about, you know, family first or, you know, if you've been friends with somebody for 10 years, now they're your family. But I don't agree with that. I really don't. And, you know, when I work with my clients, one of the things we always work with very first, like first session is we start talking about like empowerment and ownership, right? Because I believe that no matter what you do in your life, You have to feel empowered and you got to take ownership. Like your life is the way it is because you created it. And it's really important that you own that shit because if you give your power away to somebody else and you're like, oh, I'm not happy because my husband's a terrible person or, you know, my best friend makes me feel like shit. Well, you're giving other people power and so you no longer have control. So I, I really believe that the key to mastering anything in your life is taking ownership, number one. So if you're interacting with people and they're making you feel bad, 
That's something we've got to take ownership of. And the fact that we're putting ourselves around those people. And I get like, you know, it's really hard when it comes to family. I I get it. And so I do think you have to to make that determination like, okay, is this something that I can, can I bring myself around this person for an hour to go do, you know, whatever Christmas dinner and leave and be okay? And if you can, if there's ways that you can build yourself up and you can kind of wrap your head around the fact that you're like, okay, this person is just a negative Nancy. They're always going to be a negative Nancy, but I'm not going to let them affect me. Cool. Rock on. Go do it. Be happy. But you got to get your mindset that that's who that person is and that's okay. I don't really believe there's any right or wrong with any of this. But if you can get your mind wrapped around the fact that Aunt Betty is always going to have something negative to say, that's who she is. And you're just like, okay, that's how Aunt Betty is. And I'm just going to sit and have dinner and I'm going to know she's going to be negative, but I'm not going to let it come through my wall. I'm not going to let Aunt Betty bring me down because that's her shit. That's not my shit. Then totally go do it. You can do that. And there's people that do that. But if you're going in and you're sitting down next to Aunt Betty and she's going on and on and you leave and you feel totally drained or it makes you spiral into depression because she can't understand why you're not married or you're divorced or whatever the hell she had to say and now you're questioning your whole fucking life, that's a problem. And Aunt Betty has got to go. And so I encourage you, like, as you're going into these social situations over the holidays or even in life, ask yourself, like, why am I doing this? You know, I've had this experience. um, I keep a really small, very, very small circle of people, Um, even when it comes to family. Like, I don't, there's a lot of family that I don't talk to on a regular basis, and it's because our um our vibrations are very different and it's not that I don't love those people but it's just they do not raise my vibration and I feel very drained um as an empath when I'm around people like that it just it pulls me down so in my day-to-day life I keep a very small circle of people and there's been times even the last two years I've had to cut a lot of people out of my life and I've found that as I have evolved as a person my group of people has had to evolve and you know it's difficult and it's not really something that we talk about a lot you know we don't talk about the fact that we're going to change as human beings and the people that maybe we were friends with before are no longer going to serve us and it sounds shitty right like I see these memes on Instagram they're like you know friends no matter what you know you stick by your friends through thick and thin and if you've been friends for 10 years then you're basically family forever and I'm like yeah but sometimes we evolve And sometimes we grow and other people don't. And there's nothing wrong with that. But sometimes those people become toxic. Or as we heal and we grow, we realize those friendships and those relationships, they don't serve us. And they have to go. And it's hard. It's it's terrible. Like, I had to break up with one of my very best friends, like, two years ago. And it was the hardest thing in the whole entire world to do. Like it was gut wrenching. And, you know, it's just, it happens. Like people grow apart, people grow, and other people don't grow. But if it's not serving you, it's literally bringing your vibration down. It has to go. It can't, you cannot be surrounding yourself with toxic people because it's not serving you and it's only going to make things in your life worse. So give yourself the power, empower yourself to say, I am not going to bring toxic people around me, especially during the holidays. Like if there's a party you don't want to go to, don't fucking go to that party. I see, like, I see this all the time. People are like, oh, I have to go to this coworker's party. I really don't like them. So don't fucking go. Like, don't, life's too short to surround yourself with people that you don't vibe with. It just is. And, you know, you're setting a standard when you do that. So 
just something to think about in your everyday life, in the holiday season. You know, this is a time when it's supposed to be joyful and happy and fun. (laughs) So don't surround yourself with shitty people. And it's okay to break up with people. I know it's like hard and difficult. It's okay to break up with family. It's okay to break up with friends. It's okay to say, that person is not serving my life anymore. And I choose not to be a part of that anymore. So just some food for thought as you go into the rest of this holiday season. Also, before we wrap up, don't forget you can still get my chakra workbook over on my website, stephanie-cotton.com. And I'm offering my meditation class on my website as well. So if you need a little extra help during this holiday season, go over and grab that. It's all self-paced so you can do guided meditation as needed. All right, y'all. Ooh, good luck during this holiday season. Have a good one. All the people who judge without knowing just throw the peace I tell them good vibes only.